Hello and welcome to the Zoho Projects and Zoho Sprints Integration Webinar. I'm Aparna Sridharan and I'm a product marketer at Zoho. Here's the agenda for this webinar. We're going to begin with a small description of Zoho Projects and Zoho Sprints. We'll learn why these tools should talk to each other. Then we'll look at what you stand to gain through this integration. And finally, we'll wrap up with the demo. Let's begin with Zoho Projects. Zoho Projects is a comprehensive tool for project management. It follows the classic approach with milestones and task lists, Gantt charts and dependencies, and invoicing and budgeting. Zoho Sprints, on the other hand, is a project management tool for Agile teams. It offers a scrum board, epics, Agile reports, and collaboration features of its own. Despite the different approaches they take, both projects and sprints are used to manage your projects. So why should projects and sprints integrate with each other? In an organization, we often find that different teams have different preferences, and each of them find an approach which works for them. Different teams plan differently, and different types of work are measured differently. How you measure and plan your work largely decides the tool that you use. You might find that your development teams prefer the agile approach and find that running sprints increases their productivity, while teams like finance and admin would prefer working with classic tools. A project would require multiple teams to work together, and when you have to juggle between multiple tools, it can get tiresome and confusing. A simple error of omission could result in a critical communication gap. And that's why we decided to bring projects and sprints together. With this integration, we aim to give you a comprehensive platform, one on which all your teams can collaborate and work. We give you the best of both worlds. Here's how we do that. With this integration, you can manage your backlog and run sprints from Zoho projects. Here's how this example works out. You can manage your project logistics and budgeting on Zoho projects, capture requirements from internal stakeholders or external clients, and add them directly to your backlog on sprints from projects. These tasks are synced. So when the software development team takes them up in sprints and starts working on them, all the changes are reflected in projects. They break down high-level requirements into tasks required to complete each user story. Timesheets added in either projects or sprints gets added to the other tool depending on the respective tool's approval mechanism. We'll go into detail about this during the demo. You can also access all your Agile reports right from projects. So while the breakdown of user stories may not be visible to the rest of the team, they still get to keep an eye on the progress of your sprints. Now let's take a short demo to look at all of this in detail. First, let's figure out how to enable the Project Sprints integration. On your top right, you'll find the Setup button. Under Marketplace, you'll find Zoho. And here, you'll find Zoho Sprints. I've already enabled the integration for this portal. So when I click on Access Zoho Sprints, it takes me to my Sprints portal. It's important to remember that you need to be a portal owner in projects and an admin in Zoho Sprints to enable this integration. Another point to remember is that this is a one-on-one -on -one configuration. This means that you can configure one Zoho Projects portal with one Zoho Sprints portal. Now let's get back. Before we begin the demo, let me tell you about the example we're going to take up today. Here's a company called Zilka Airlines and they're starting a new division called Zilka Caps. This project is being managed on Zoho Projects. Now they're also building an app for Zilka Caps and their software team is using Zoho Sprints for its development. With that in mind, let's begin our demo. The four modules that will be synced across Zoho Projects and Zoho Sprints are Projects, Tasks, Timesheets, and Users. So first, let's look at Projects. I'm going to begin by trying to create a project. Let's call it Zcaps. Now here you'll find a small checkbox for adding it to Zoho Sprints. If you choose to select a template, the tasks in that template get populated to your project in Zoho Projects, but this does not get reflected to your Zoho Sprints project. You can't enable task rollup for any project that's been added to Zoho Sprints. Here's why. High-level requirements are gathered as work items in Zoho Projects. 
These are synced to Zoho Sprints as user stories and broken down into tasks. The efforts involved in the tasks for each user story do not show up in Zoho projects, so the rollup feature cannot give you an accurate amount of the efforts involved. Now let's look at a project that's already been populated. This is a project that's already been synced with Zoho Sprints. Here are a couple of things to keep in mind when syncing projects. First one is deletion. If you delete your project from either projects or sprints, the integration breaks. Changes made to that project will no longer be synced and the project in the other tool does not get deleted. The second thing is plan limitations. If you're in the enterprise plan for Zoho projects, which means you have unlimited number of projects, but you are in the free edition of Zoho Sprints, and that means you have two projects. You cannot create more than two projects in Zoho Sprints from Zoho Projects. Now let's move on to tasks. Here is our task list for this project. You can easily see the tasks that have been synced with Zoho Sprints. You'll be able to see a small Zoho Sprints logo against each task. You can either add them to Zoho Sprints right when you're creating them, or you can add existing ones. For example, you'll get the option to save and add to Zoho Sprint right away. Let me complete this. Save and add to Zoho Sprint. Here, you'll be prompted to fill these three mandatory fields. You can choose your estimation points. You can choose what type of item you want it to be. You can also choose if you want to add it to the backlog, to a sprint that's not begun yet, or to a running sprint. For existing tasks, you can either add them to the whole sprints from inside the task view, here, or you can simply select them from the task list and add, the, add them to sprints. There you go. Task hierarchy in Zoho projects is not maintained across the integration. This means that if I add this item and its sub item to Zoho sprints, they will get added as independent tasks. Those two work items fall as two independent stories in our backlog. All your custom fields, comments, attachments, and loggers for your tasks get synced across Zoho projects and Zoho sprints. For example, I have made this comment from Zoho Projects. Now let's go to Zoho Sprints. So you'll see a little label here that says that I have made the comment from Projects. Since there is a two-way sync for comments between Zoho Projects and Zoho Sprints, I can edit this comment from both the places. For the case of attachments, if you upload or attach a document from one tool, you can only download it from the other tool. You do not have edit or delete permissions. Now let's talk about task fields. This is the task view in Zoho Sprints. Here you'll find the mandatory fields from Zoho projects being fetched. Similarly, in Zoho Sprints, you'll find the mandatory fields from Zoho Sprints being fetched. I'm using the standard layout. If you customize your task layout, you can decide the fields which can be mandatory and those get fetched here. For both projects and sprints, 
The details that get fetched from the other product are view only. You cannot edit them from the other tool. If you wish to edit these details, you'll have an option to edit in Zoho Sprints, which takes you to the tool itself. If you move your task to another project, or if you delete your task from either Zoho Projects or Zoho Sprints, the integration breaks. This means that the task continues to exist in the second tool, and any further changes made to that task do not get reflected in the first tool. For every project that's been synced with Zoho Sprints, you will find a default Sprints tab on your left panel. From this screen, you should be able to view all your Sprints, create a new Sprint, and view the Scrum Board of any Sprint. This is a Sprint that's already been completed. You can also view your Sprint Backlog right from Zoho Projects. You can either directly create work items, or you can plan your Sprints, or even start a Sprint. I would also like to point out that all the tasks that have been created through Zoho Projects have this little arrow underlining their item ID. This is a small indicator to differentiate the tasks associated with Zoho Projects from the ones that are not. Now we move on to timesheets. For tasks that are synced across projects and sprints, their respective logars get synced automatically. Here you can see that this was logged from Zoho Sprints. One thing to remember here is both the tools have approval mechanisms and only approved time logs get synced to the other tool. Let's try logging one now. Now the approval status for this logout is pending. Time logs can be approved or rejected by either the manager or the admin. Now this is an approved time log. So this should get reflected in Zoho projects. There you go. This is the five words that we logged right now. And that's all for timesheets. Besides managing and planning your backlog, you can also view the entire reports module of Zoho Sprints from Zoho Projects. Under Agile Reports, you can view all your sprint reports right from Zoho Projects. Next, we move to Users. Users of a portal do not get added automatically to Zoho Sprints. Only when you create a project, the users of that project get added to Zoho Sprints. And even when they do, they fall as inactive members. So you can decide which user you want to activate. From this screen, you can activate users. and decide what role you want to give them. In projects, you have the option of having client users, but in Zoho Sprints, you only have three roles, an admin, a manager, and a member. So if you have client users on a project that is synced with Zoho Sprints, and you want to add them to the Zoho Sprints portal, you will have to add them as a member. Their restricted permissions and access is still valid for Zoho projects, but in Zoho Sprints, they will be able to view and manage their backlog. And with that, we come to the end of our demo. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or feedback about this integration, you can always hit us up at support at zohoprojects.com or support at zohosprints.com. Or you can always tweet to us at Zoho Cares. Thank you.